And then Edward gets baby fever. So like, yeah, well, Charlie was imagining that you were probably pregnant and that's why we're getting married. So they like talk about when they told Charlie that they were engaged and um, Charlie was thinking like, oh, are you pregnant? And she was like, fucking no. And now Ed's all like, I wish he was right. Yeah, and this gives, I mean, we're going to talk about Give this the whole, child. yeah, like the whole novel will say this, but like we've been saying this all three episodes when we've been doing this, this is the fourth now. You know, Charlie is misused. A lot of the characters are underutilized in this, particularly Jacob for being one of the main characters, but Charlie especially is just such a shell that is like brought out whenever it's convenient or needed, and then he just kind of disappears again. There's no tension, there's no hiccup or anything like that that's caused by her dad who doesn't understand who's also you know the chief of police in the town um it, yeah which it just, is weird because yeah. he has more like i don't know he seems more solid to me than like edward or bella who just right. really do seem like shells like they're just sort of placeholders for a fantasy yeah i just mean in terms of like when they try to and you know we'll talk about this when they reveal to charlie towards the end of the novel here about the kind of fantasy animals and creatures just you know we said this every episode tends to misuse these opportunities to create real serious tension and drama for a reader and just they tend to fall flat and charlie is just always falling flat like his objection should cause drama but they never do it's always just fine <laughs> and like he just needs to talk to jacob and he's fine uh, but yeah, that's going to keep coming back up.